Good morning. <coughs> um, my name is not Donkey, but we're making waffles. So, I have three cups of flour in this bowl, nothing but. We're going to add baking powder. And I'm making actually a double recipe. So, for the regular recipe of one and a half cups of flour, you would add a tablespoon or three teaspoons of baking powder. So since I'm doubling it up, I'm going to have two. The only math I'm good at at all is kitchen math. So I can do cups and quarters like nobody's business. All right, we also have um, a quarter cup of sugar, which is uh, two tablespoons per recipe. And we are going to have um, you can use melted butter or oil. I waffle in between those, and sometimes I haha. Uh, sometimes I do um, half and half. Today I'm too lazy to melt the oil and play around with the heat. Um, I have two cups of milk and four eggs to go in and that is it. So easy peasy. My uh, waffle irons are heating up and I have two totally different styles. Uh, the silver one right in front of the bowl here is uh, a deep pocket variety and this one over here says it's a Belgian waffle iron but it makes the little thin ones. Um, my family likes both so I just do it all together because it's just as easy and I'm adding in uh, milk and eggs. I stirred the eggs just enough to be a little bit broken up um, before putting in the milk um, but I didn't want to stir it too well. Uh, these sorts of basically quick breads. Um, you don't necessarily want to be like a perfect texture. They don't, you don't want it to be like creamy and lump free entirely. Um, I usually make things a little less lumpy than most people sort of agree on. So that's my own personal foible. This is my Danish whisk that I love because it actually does this much easier than any of the other devices, including my proper French whisks or anything like that. Um, something about the circle is really great and actually even does really good with uh, uh, cream and butter. If you are ever without your electric one, it actually does a decent job. Um, it kind of depends on how much noise I want to make, and whether or not I want to get out the big mixer. Actually, at the moment, my mixer lives on the counter, which is nice. I have the room for that. All right. So you can see my texture is not like 100% perfect, but it's pretty good. My little lights on everything are on, which means that it is ready to rock and roll. Uh, let's see. Volumetrics. That gets to be tricky. I overrun my waffle makers all the time because I don't do this often enough to get a good memory of what they're supposed to do. So we're going to eyeball these. See, it's nice and hot. And actually, let me go get some butter. Butter, 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 butter. Everything's better with butter. You can see it's nice and hot. And I'm just going to use my silicon brush to hit all of our little holes. I have a very fond and peculiar memory of my mother shot putting an antique waffle iron into a vacant lot next to our home that we lived in in Cleveland when I was about four. 
and I can just recall, because she's a teeny tiny little woman, I can recall her standing it on the back porch and just shot putting it up into the air and it glistening as it rotated through and it was just such a formative memory for me that I am quite fond of. As silly as that sounds. My mother is a tiny little fairly proper librarian type woman and this, this image of her is just one that I really enjoy. Um, you can use oils and things like that. Uh, the smoke point of butter is quite low, but uh, we're not like hard frying as much as light baking here. All right, so we have buttered everybody. Let me get my butter back. A little better. And we're going to see if I can manage to mess this up. And something in that realm should be correct for this waffle maker and it may explode because they do and I am terrible at estimating that. You don't want to leave these too long but I kind of want to spread things out so they at least have half a chance of doing this right. In this variety, he has a little latch, and his red light will turn green when it's done. This one has much less of a latching system. It just rests, and its little light goes off and then comes back on. I'm going to put my spoon in there. And we're going to give it a few minutes to wait and see if we have messed these up. Um, <laughs> My mother did actually have very, very bad luck with waffle irons her entire cooking career. Um, she gave up cooking a few years ago. Um, she still does quite a lot, but she doesn't do this kind of breakfasty stuff anymore. Um, and has not for a long time, actually. I think since I left home, possibly. I'm an only child. Um, the, <laughs> the number of shot-putted waffle irons might be greater than I know. I'm just saying. We do have a green light, but that should not be right yet. That's too soon. Um, waffle irons are a single purpose device, um, so you kind of have to watch for them. You can see we're leaking out just a little bit, but I don't think we're going to go out. I've had times where I've had to clean, like, you know, pools of batter out of the back of these because I have made a mistake. But we learn from our mistakes, and we try not to do that again. All right, I got a peek. Actually, I think I need to wait for the red light to go out. I get anxious. The little light system has never been, like, you know, the most fabulous indicator for me. I'm too impatient. If you open it up too soon, it will come in half, and you will have two halves this way, which is not good for the waffle. This one has not have its light on, and this one has two lights on, so we're going to pretend that I'm waiting for the red one to go out, I think. It has been a little while since I've made these, so you lucked out today in that it is a weekend, and somebody requested waffles, so it's <laughs> smelling like they were cooking. All right, well, I can't, I can't resist. i got to check. All right, so I'm going to try to lift it real gently and see if it will come. All right, that is a little light, so we're gonna let it go. At least it didn't stick. That's why it's important to use butter. Um, you can use butter, you can use oil. Uh, my mother actually used to use lecithin, which I'm not even sure how to explain it, but it's a product you can get at organic food stores that is kind of oil-like, and that's about all I know about it. You can look it up later, I don't actually know. But yes, there are things that you can use for all different kinds. I think lecithin would be a uh, possibly a vegan thing. I grew up in a household where we knew what a vegan was in the 1970s, so um, I have this weird knowledge of these weird things on occasion. All right, let's see. That looks pretty good. And we're getting out, you know, our really, really fancy plates. 
stack up a couple of these before I take them to people to eat. Um, you can keep them warm in the oven. Um, I don't have mine on at the moment. I could probably put it on to warm. It actually has a warming setting even. All right, so that looks pretty good. I'm putting these over to the side so someone can come and put butter and syrup all over it. And I am going to hit this with a little more butter just to make sure that the next one does not stick. And yeah, I'm using teeny tiny amounts because this is actually a, a non-stick. But my mother's many years of shot putting have taught me not to, not to play around with the fats and oils with these sorts of things. All right, let's try not to get too carried away. No explosions, no explosions. light has come on. Ooh, there we go. That does not look bad at all. I have success. We have successfully made waffles. I am going to turn you off and call people to come get breakfast here in a minute. Hope you have a happy holiday season and a great morning. Talk to you later, kids.